Hey guys, uh, Rick here, and it is hot as all get out outside. And uh, this time of year is always the hardest as far as mowing. Um, it's one of my responsibilities around the farm is to go ahead and uh, keep the grass cut, keep everything down. You know, everybody, uh, or as long as I have been mowing, which has been a really long time, but long story short, whenever I was 16 um, and moved to the big old country, I joined up with FFA here in Baker County and started a lawn and landscape business. And so I've always cut grass during the day. With that being said, it's hot as all get out and uh, I'm getting older and there's not enough water in my well to keep me cool during the day while mowing grass. So last night I, you know, got a, uh, let's see. Oh, what are you doing? So last night, Chelsea was watching a movie that I really didn't uh, have any interest in, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to mow. Well, it was a little bit later in the afternoon, and I uh, quickly realized how much nicer it was to cut uh, as the sun's going down in relation to, like, now where the sun is blistering hot outside. And uh, this is the time of year where Lala and Papa, they stay underneath the barn, or they stay at the house, or they stay up underneath the shop. Um, it's not the time of year where you do your outside activities, but this is the time of year where the grass grows and it needs to be cut. Went to a local big box store here in uh, Baker County and picked myself up a single row light bar. And I'm gonna install this today in hopes that uh, I might be able to start cutting um, more at nighttime uh, when the grass has had all day long for the dew to kind of evaporate. And so the grass isn't near as wet, um, nor is it near as hot. And uh, also you get that like little afternoon breeze. So this is the actual light bar. Um, looks to be like an 18, looks to be 18 gauge wires. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, this thing was 100, uh, 113, 113 watts, um, but it's like, 4,000 something lumens. Um, so it should definitely uh, illuminate uh, whatever I'm about to hit or uh, whatever I'm cutting at nighttime. So this is where I was seeing where I was going to mount the toggle switch for this reason. On one end, on the very end is where you have your uh, power cable. And then the other end is more or less just a place to secure the light in case it hits at that point, it just doesn't like fall on top of your head. Um, so seeing as though we're going to put the toggle switch here, we're going to go ahead and have our wire on the right hand side of the mower. We're mounting the light underneath the roll bar. Um, the reason why we're mounting it underneath instead of on top is uh, we have a lot of pine trees on our property, um, low lying limbs, and uh, I would like it to where the pine trees, now this thing's pretty stout, I ain't going to lie, it's, it's a... It's pretty heavy duty. Uh, I got the heavier duty of the two that 20 inches that they had. Um, so it's all it's all metal. There is no plastic on the outside of it. Um, but uh, we're mounting it on the bottom. That way, when the pine tree, the low lying limbs hit the light, instead of them scraping the light, they actually roll over and scrape the top of the roll bar. So because nothing's gonna happen to that. I had to do a little bit of fabrication on this. I called Papa uh, whenever I was at the store because uh, I didn't even care to check to see how wide this flat portion was of the uh, of the roll bar, and uh, he gave me the dimensions of 20 inches, which is which is accurate. The issue is is on these the mounting brackets that come with this light fixture. Um, they go out another probably probably another inch on each side so we're we're missing two inches so what i have done is i actually put the brackets in the vise hit them with the ball peen hammer to kind of give them some type of curvature and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount those right here so first things first ball peen hammer what's a ball peen <laughs> ball peen hammer ball peen uh with a hammer um you're correct Anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put this where we want it. 
We're going to go ahead and mark it. All right. And then I will mark mine. You can mark yours however you want to. If you want to go ahead and mark it with a uh, like a permanent marker or whatnot, pencil, soap, soap pen, or soap pencil, it doesn't matter. Um, but go ahead and mark it. And then we're ready to drill. In our case, Papa has let us use the whammy jammy of all drills. That's a, uh, a copyrighted saying. Um, it's a beast. This is some really hard, hard steel, so we weren't gonna go ahead and, and burn up our Milwaukee batteries or our Milwaukee drills. So we're going to the old trusty uh, Dewalt that's uh, a good percentage of, of my age old. So we also got some stainless steel hardware. That way, uh, that way, it doesn't rust. I got the whole kit and caboodle. I got stainless steel washers. I got stainless steel nuts, and I got stainless steel uh, uh, bolts. So I don't like lock nuts. Um, I would much prefer to use lock washers. Uh, lock nuts. After several times of using them. Uh, you then have to replace the lock nut with lock washer they just in my opinion they seem to be uh, you can use them over and over and over again So we've got our actual light mounted. Now it's time to do the electrical uh, to the battery, mount the switch, run the ground, run the extra wires. So with this one specifically, it did not come with enough wire. You would have, say if you put it on your truck or in our case, we're putting it on the mower, you would have had to supply the extra wire uh, that's gonna run to wherever you're supplying the power from. Um, so again, same store we got this from, plus Papa had some I'm sure in his shop somewhere. Make sure when you're buying this, uh, you find out how much wattage uh, your uh, watts this is gonna pull, um, and make sure that you're getting the correct gauge wire. Uh, this 18 gauge wire that we got is rated for up to around 150 watts. Um, so it's plenty enough for what we're using it for. Uh, and just to make sure that everything stays looking pretty, I got black wire and I got red wire. So while I'm doing this, Papa's uh, making a bunch of noise. He's doing, uh, he's building cabinets for his shop. I don't think that he will be doing a video of him building the cabinets. He's gonna do one of the last ones. However, he says he's gonna do one of the last one. However, I am absolutely positive that when he gets done, he will show them off. So connecting the ends of the more or less filler wire to go ahead and run down. Um, seeing as though it was so difficult to run the wires initially or run the holes through the, uh, the roll bar initially, um, I will not be running the wire. What I originally had planned was running it actually inside the tube. Um, what I'm gonna do instead is take zip ties trusty old redneck tool and run them down the back side of this that way as trees come and I'm running into low-lying pines um, it, it won't end up catching this right here and ripping it off or disconnecting it or, or whatnot now when I'm doing pine trees it's a good chance that I won't be doing them at night uh, but during the day I'm not going to take this light off every single time I go to mow during the day. So it will be on here. It will be on here even if 
it's daylight. So we need to make it to where it's daylight proof. I got all the wire run from the actual uh, light bar down, got zip ties. Uh, this right here uh, on the instrument cluster has a, a few squares uh, that are for like different models that have those little quick pop outs. Well, none of them are small enough to fit the switch that we got. Um, so what we're gonna end up doing instead is uh, running the switch here. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole right here. We'll mount the switch right there, and that'll be the way we operate the, uh, the, the light bar. See how much more I get done if you just stop talking to me? Now I'm actually getting something. I'm trying to do this all morning long. I can't do it because you're just sitting here. Blah, 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 blah. Walking to blah, blah, blah. Colonel, blah, blah, blah. Incident report, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like that. I'm just trying to work here. You ready for another one, Deb? Hey, can you grab your multimeter? So I can check the ohmage on this switch. The ohmage? The ohms. No such thing as ohmage. So I can make sure it's ohming. No. <laughs> That's how I say it at work. So you can check the continuity of continuity the of the switch. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't put a red and black one on that switch, did you? Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be, right? No. Oh sh. The black goes to the frame, the red one just is in line switch. You're just interrupting the power supply. No. The red is whichever one. So this is the black. Yeah. That one's going to go to the frame. That's how, that's how you got it. <laughs> Told you, man. All I need is to check the homage. <laughs> Continuity. What, Mama? What's growing with your dad? That's easy. Hey, so I told Dad, and he didn't give me a response. Do you want to trade? Uh, I will give you my Discovery Plus playing card, Pokemon card, for your uh, uh, Netflix playing card, or Pokemon card. I really want a Netflix Pokemon card, but I have an extra Discovery Plus Pokemon card. I just want to trade. All right. So now I have checked the homage. No, uh, I've checked the continu continuity of my switch. Made sure that my switch down here. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Um, here, I'll take you off real quick. I'll show you everything that we've done so far. Light bar. I'll zoom y'all out. Light bar, zip ties all the way down to here. Uh, this is where I said that we had to rehome the switch at. All right, but you got the switch right there. Switch inside there. Check continuity of it. So we made sure that that is up and that is down as far as on and off. Um, now we're about to run. And the cool thing about our Hustler is it came with these two little holes right here that were already pre-drilled. I'm gonna use those for those wires. And so this red wire now is the outgoing wire that will then go to the battery right there. And then we will run the black right here. We run that to the ground side of the battery. And then at that point we'll test her out and make sure she's working as expected. I'm gonna make a two level, two level base or two level countertop. So the first countertop is gonna be, is gonna be all right so y'all probably didn't see much of that because my back was in the way um but i went ahead and i created the terminals or uh put the terminal tie-ins right here and 
We're about to put those on the battery and then after that, I should have a light bar. We got the uh, light bar installed on the mower, hooked everything into the batteries, gave it some power. It's time to clean up uh, our mess. Um, and then uh, once the sun goes down, we'll get some mowing done because as of now, we have lights.